Now, according to what she said, she said it was along the left-hand path of the forest? Pretty sure that's what she said. That means we have to go left after entering this place. I'm gonna, let's see, flight list 10. And let's head in the forest. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to kill some things here to get some money anyway, so this ain't the worst thing in the world. But I'd rather, <clears throat> I'd rather not just fight monsters nonstop. So let's try to move a little bit quicker. Oh, mushrooms. They might be. Oh. Thought we needed mushrooms for that one person. Uh oh. We got an enemy coming. Where they at? Come on, can you please hit? Okay, we got some good hits there. There we go. We'll take that crack quartz. And then we'll continue. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, so, um, I read somewhere that said, uh, I think it was in the manual. Talk about the harder difficulties. Enemies start to flank you and they become more apparent. So. Two spiders and a goblin and the way the spiders came down. Really, really difficult. The only problem is this spider is hiding behind There's no this tree so I can't get him. Let me drop a save. And we'll head south. And then right? No, we're supposed to go left. Why are we heading right? Now we're back here. We're back at the beginning. I didn't even know you could go this way from that. Kill this spider first. <laughs> ah, no! Ah! Oh man, that almost killed me. Good shot. Just saying, you completely missed. Ooh. Man, that was scary. Those spiders hit, man. They, they, they really, really, really hit hard. You have to be really quick on your feet. How many healing pushes do we have though? Um, do we have healing potions? I thought we had one healing potion. I think I might've used it because I did hit the Q button. Can't go that way. Uh, no, okay, there we go. Now we use a potion. Really, really don't want to fight these guys in this area. Try to make some headway here. Okay, there's the spider down. Oh. Fire sells a second at a time. Man, these guys are really good at blocking. Okay, we got him. We got him. There's no Yes there is. I wonder if that spider corpse is still here, because that'd be kinda sad if the spider wasn't here anymore. Aw oh, man, the spider's not here anymore. Probably could have gotten more money from the spider. I don't think we're getting experience from killing these guys either, so you know there's no way we can grind our way up. Here's some mushrooms. We did need those, right? Yes, we did need those. But we're still not finding the fruit tree that we're looking for. 
At least we know this place isn't just some repetitive maze. There's actually places to go here. So if we want another forest enough, we should find There's our way. They okay, and there's these things aren't anything. I tried picking them up. Oh, hello, strange plant. I'd need reaching it won't be that easy. So how do we get to the strange plant? Use jet stream on it. Hey. Now we're finally being able to use our magic. And there's some apple bliss. That's exactly what we needed. With this, we can finally create the potion and complete our first task. Well, at least, you know, try to complete our first class. I do want to explore the rest of this forest while we're here, though. There is some quest here, right? Okay, that looks suspicious. Some more brown mushrooms. We'll take those. Thank you very much. What is up here? It's like some ruins. Stone ruins from a bygone era. Not even the masters are certain who built them. Can we go up them? The stone. No, we can't. Okay, well, let's continue on. We'll head north here. And east. Some more brown mushrooms. We'll take those. Okay, who do we got? We got one goblin. Or one red cap, I should call him, right? Perfect. So that's what I'm talking about, Mr. Dark. That's how you take down an enemy. Good job, my friend. Good job. Uh, there's another enemy attacking us. Let's, uh... Okay, there's some bones here that I want to search. So let's um, use this as our... We just hit that tree. Good job. Come on, dark. There you go. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Good job, my friend. Good job. Now, let's check this. Uh, can we check these bones? Really? You can't check the bones? Blood bark for... Okay. This crude wooden structure wasn't designed to accommodate humans. You know, there was a quest in here where you had to find someone, right? I mean, I'm not just mistaking that. That was a thing. Oh, no. I'm, I'm dead. Ah. Uh, I knew it as soon as I saw all those spiders pop up that I was dead. Oh. Ugh, those guys are hard. Okay, let's try to get some distance here. There we go. Now that's being smart. Gotta get away from this spider, though. Hit the spider! Hit, hit the spider! We'll get this eventually, I promise. Oh, run away. Running away also sounds like a good idea right about now. Ah, no! That spell just doesn't last long enough. Okay, let's, let's try to and actually make some space here. Come on, hit him, please hit him. Hit him, hit him. Oh, thank you. We have done it. Oh, 
we've maxed out on those uh things i guess oh look it's a ring of mushrooms never had a bad thing happen to me with the ring of mushrooms in a uh quest for glory like game have we they might be rocks are so i'm not going to look under every rock but this rock may be important i should i sh okay maybe this is uh an event for later Oh, more brown mushrooms. I will take that. Thank you very much. And let's continue to get through this forest, shall we? Head to the right now. They might. So nothing here. That's super, like, I mean, so creepy. There's got to be something to that. Yeah, even more brown mushrooms. Perfect. We'll head south here. And then south again. And east. I think we've been this way before. Nope, we haven't. Here's some more brown mushrooms. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. We need to get out of this forest. Yeah, we need to get out of this forest. We need to we need to head back to town. So we should head south and east, I imagine. Because we've gone far west. So let's go back up here. Let's head east. Can't head east. Oh, well, that's nice. Meanwhile, a goblin will chase us. Okay, well, Mr. Goblin, you can follow us around because we're heading out of here. I want those mushrooms. I am so glad I stopped to fight you. You got a healing potion on you. I will gladly take that healing potion. And more of these mushrooms. We have so many of these mushrooms now. But I'm still lost. More mushrooms, great. I mean, as happy as I am to see more mushrooms, I really want to get out of here. Can't go that way. Stupid me didn't bother to write down the directions that we went, so I have no idea where we are. I am officially lost in this forest. Like, no joke, I have no idea where we are, where we're going. Although this looks familiar. This looks familiar. This is the exit, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> yes! We are out of here! Now it's time to head to Cerise and give her her fruit. And then we can head back here and talk to the weeping or the screaming tree. Not the weeping willow. That's, you know, a different. That's something different. It does involve magicians, though. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Cerise, I have your uh, fruit. Not the tingleberries. The apple bliss. I have your apple bliss. I'm impressed. As promised, here's the fruit from the screaming tree. I shouldn't have bothered, to be honest. They taste a little sour. They're probably homesick. What? Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, can we also get those other things to you? Uh, the brown mushrooms? Thank you. Yes, we can. Good way to get some money. And what else do we get? We have those spider glands. You'll find no use for that here. Someone wanted these, though. Who wanted these? Was it the guy to the right? The uh, fortune teller? You have ensured that no part went to waste. 
Ja, wenn ich... Okay, it's not this guy. Better keep that away. Yeah, I think it was the guy at the beginning here. Let's go talk to him. Yep, it was him. Man, those are super expensive. Uh, one magic, one con. No. 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 Okay, let's buy a couple of healing potions. And... Another venom. Let's buy a mana potion and another healing potion. What's this at 50? Not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll also buy another scroll of identity. And then we will go to our inventory and use our These two these What? Oh right. Duh. We need the sap, not the not the fruit. My bad. But now that we have the fruit, we can exchange the fruit for the sap. And there we go. One of the old classic tricks of the trade of an adventure game. Uh, you get me one thing to trade for another, to trade for another, to trade for another, to trade for the thing that you actually need. My seeds! Yes. Now, your sap? Take as much as you need. I don't need that much, really. I cannot collect the sap with my bare hands. Um... Can we just go straight to this? I must measure the sap carefully. Okay, an empty flask. We can do that. We have a couple empty flasks. And now we can use the uh, tree sap on the potion. There. I've added one drop of sap. I'll save the rest. And we have made ourselves a sea illusionary spell potion flask. Thingy. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but I do know what to do with it. And that is we need to head back to that island. We need to go talk to the... Is it a princess or is it a uh, priestess? Uh, I know it begins with P and ends with S, I think, but I'm not really sure which one. But anyway, we need to go talk to the woman that we need to talk to without dying a very horrible death. We need to get a lock of her hair. I don't have any scissors, so I really hope... The game didn't expect me to bring scissors to this event. Because that would be unfortunate. Hopefully we won't have to do the entire puzzle again. Good we don't. Thank you so much for that. I, I really like adventure games that respect my time. Okay, let's head to the stone steps. And we'll drop a save here. Unlucky 13. Hopefully it's a lucky 13. And we'll use this on us. Wow. There is some writing on it. Aman Kul, former priestess, ah, it is a priestess, of Armanash, banished for eternity for crimes against her disciples. Embrace your folly, novice, and enter. It's nice to see the masters hold their initiates in such high regard. <laughs> Let's do it. Congratulations, your progress has allowed you to advance a level. When you look at your statistics panel, you'll now be able to invest several points into the stats of your choosing. Ooh, very cool. Where do I want to put these points? I want to put one point in intelligence. I want to put one point in strength. And, um, I mean, health is important, but we die really fast if we get hit anyway. I'd rather be able to kill things faster. So I'm thinking about maybe doing, uh, strength and intelligence. And then the next level, we'll put one point in everything. And then we'll do two, two, and then one in everything. I think that's a, that seems like a good thing to do. Okay, let's look around. The shell lights add some opulence to the room. In the meantime, since we just leveled, 
We'll drop yet another save. 114. No, we're not up to that save yet. The palace entrance hall is alluring. Or is that luring? Ooh. I don't know, but this giant crab up here is really freaking me out. This must be the giant sand crab that attacked Initiate Marmon. Poor fellow had to hop through his remaining trials. It looks harmless now. Its nipping days are over. Should we wait? They look comfortable, but safety is not guaranteed. All right, let's head on up, shall we? Left is right, so we always go left first. Before we do that, let's look at the piranha torch. Even the live ones aren't great conversationalists. <laughs> I doubt they'd help me. Okay, head in. Uh... They're beautiful in their own way. Yeah, they are actually. The lake could do with a few of these. Living ones, I mean. So, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't expecting a giant skeleton to come attack me. Oh. My gosh, I just jumped out of my chair. Oh man, that scared the heck out of me. Okay, we'll head left and south, I guess. A loose tile. Yes! Ah, uh, this ain't good. This ain't good. I'm just saying. It's getting closer. Run away! Cassia Poissy. Supposed to get an item from this guy. Oh man, this, this. My instinct tells me not to go anywhere near this liquid. What if we, um. Cassia Poissy Flesh? What if we used a flask on it? Wait, I thought we had another flask. Aww, I got rid of my flask. One day, my spells might be powerful enough to counteract this dark magic. Just not today. I'm kind of sad I couldn't talk to the uh, Cassia Poissy. I mean, that would have been a good conversation. How are you doing? Arr! Dude, you're not a Morlock. You're Cassia Poissy. Arr! Okay, it was good talking with you. All right, let's head north. And further north. My instinct. Okay, so don't go near the liquid. We'll head left again. And then we'll go back down south. And... Great, skeleton. This wayward wanderer came to an unexpected end. I'm not dancing on bones, buried or not. Actually, I was hoping you would search them. I. Okay, so the water is all bad here. Here's another tile. This reminds me of Gabriel Knight now. Because in Gabriel Knight, we had to pick up tiles. Hopefully the puzzle isn't as complicated though. Not enough. Ah, uh, not a mana. It's not good. Come on, come on. This guy is so fast. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Get out of the way! Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's say I have the skeleton. An unfortunate result of the priestess's amusement. I'm not. I'm. Okay, we can't do anything with skeleton. Oh man. Combat in this game is exhilarating because even though it can go by really quick, um, there's a lot that goes into it. Especially playing the harder difficulty, which is what we're doing. Pile of bones. A pile of bones. There's no dignity in death. Right, let's head back down. Let's head through the serpents. And let's head up into the serpents. Uh. What is this? A man? No, not quite. 
I didn't mean to come here yet. Another child enters my domain, seeking to earn his place. To what do I owe the pleasure, Initiate? Have you come to pay homage to the priestess Amankul? To honor the once and great ruler of Armanash? Do you seek to look upon beauty so immeasurable that men and women once gave their lives for a single glimpse? No? Perhaps you have a gift, a tribute befitting one of my glory and stature. I don't think I, I do. Not. A message from your masters, then? Will you inform me I have concluded my sentence? Am I to be freed at last? Sure, just give me lucky here. I jest. Your kin are not the forgiving kind. Not even after 500 years. I know why you are here. To take. As those who have come before you have taken. Already I tire of your presence. State what you want of me, child. Uh, hello. I wonder, can I use my, um... My... Talk with this skill? skill is innate. Oh, it cannot be cast, okay. From the balcony, one would have a perfect view of the hall and those who enter it. The priestess Amon Cool. I had not imagined she would look like that. I didn't mean to come here yet. I want to get, you know, all those tiles and everything. The world once knew of Amon Kul, priestess of Amanash. It will again. A beautiful land, second only to its once and more beautiful ruler. Through the long centuries, I have not forgotten my subject's betrayal. She thinks very highly of herself, and she's very vindictive. Although she may have a reason to. My own acolytes turned on me, seeking to usurp my rule and seize power for themselves. As their guardian, I was forced to punish them. I keep them here with me, as I am in turn kept by your noble masters. Uh, gulp? Is that what history records? That I murdered my followers because I resented their beauty? You need only behold their heads to know that was not the case. All beauty is to be celebrated. I ensure none goes to waste. What about the heads? They keep me company far better than when they were whole. Okay, what about your crimes? Do not speak to me of crimes, mage child. Read upon your history and tell me you have any right to hold me here. My deeds are tiny compared to that which your kind have wrought. Are you not a mage yourself? I am more than just a mage. I have reached into the depths of your water arts further than any have dared, and even now draw from its ever-darkening power. Uh, do you want a, uh, apprentice? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dark water magic. There are aspects of the water which your masters will not teach you. Why risk upsetting the balance when a simple lie keeps all in check? Palace. My home for 500 years. Needless to say, I know it well. Stone Sand Crab. Did he frighten you? I assure you he is quite safe. Only a little. I, I want to skip this one for now. Let's just go to Masters. I would see them drowned in the very lake that prevents my leaving. Wow. Lake? My own element turned against me. I assure you, the irony is far from lost. I can see that. Initiation, why I'm here. I have come to ask for a lock of your hair. A lock of my hair? Were I to give it willingly, you would find it no easy task. The curse which has kept me so long, unchanged, prevents even a single strand from leaving my head. Oh, great. A pity the same could not be said of my followers. You will need a special blade. A dagger. It is kept in my treasury. Bring it to me. You must think me a fool if you believe I'd hand you something like that. A fool you may be, but I know what you want, young one. It is not so rare a glint I see in your eyes. That blade can help you, for it contains power. 
far greater than your masters would let a novice wield. In exchange for your assistance, I will allow you to keep it. Well, that sounds good. It is but a small request, but what say you? Will you bring me the dagger? Surely a worthy weapon for the mightiest of mages. How did you... <laughs> Make your choice, my pretty child. Lock her hair. My jewels. My breath. Now my hair. What next? The dagger. It was forged from a rare enchanted metal and dipped in the blood of a wyvern's heart. You will not be disappointed when you learn of its properties. Properties. It will respond only to one untainted by the bloodlust which forged it. As such, its full potential remains unwielded. Where's your treasury at? Be wary, young one. It was not meant for just anyone to enter. Nor does it take kindly to the liberation of its holdings. I want to know where it was at. That didn't tell Eager me. Eager to leave? I can imagine. Well, you did say you wanted me to go fetch something for you. Some doors here. Locked. Uh, floor, tile. These two I- I can't- Hmm. Beautiful. Sharp pointy bits remind me not to grab at everything I see. Can we grab this? Yeah, we can. How about that? Maybe we can use that to uh, get the water. Where's the treasury at though? And how do we open these doors? Maybe there's still more that we haven't explored. Whoa, what was that? What in the world was that? I know what that is though. Woohoo! Perfect. Not bad, Dark. Not bad. There's a loose tile. Here's a giant urn. Ah! These things block way too much. <clears throat> run, run, run. Come on, hit move, hit move. Ah! Why can't you, why can't we just be friends? I'd rather fight the skeletons than these guys. Cause the skeletons have to take time to attack. These guys just rush forward and they're like, whoosh, whoosh. My curiosity stops short of discovering its contents. The priestess keeps a collection of urns. At least she has one normal hobby. Okay, so we found three tiles, but we don't know what the three tiles are for just yet. So we need to find a room that you have to put tiles into. Where's the skeleton at? Where's he at? There he is, take him out. See, I, like, no I like the skeleton because due to our uh, due to our ability to actually hit things now you know we can hit him pretty reliably and we like stagger him we use the empty water it pitcher it wouldn't be prudent to collect a sample of that liquid okay I guess not let me go ahead and save again. I think it's okay to save over this save data. Okay, it's not here. Is this the entrance? Okay, we. I don't think we've gone right yet. Okay, let's go south before going right. 
Oh, we're back here. All right, well, that's not exactly where I want to be. Let's head to the right. We got to find that room that has tiles. Here's another one. What am I fighting? Ah, oh, it's another Cassiopeia thingy. Cassiopeus. Oh, it's Grr! Those guys are like Necrotars from Quest of Glory 4. They're just non-stop. It wouldn't be prudent to collect a sample of that liquid. Okay, so it looks like we can't use a My pitcher for anything with the liquids around here. So where is the treasury then? We have four tiles now. And I think we've explored everything. We've gone to the left. We've gone up. We've gone to the right. So where's the treasury at? Been here. Been here. Let's head to the right. Let's go back and head up. I think that weighs to the priestess. Ah. Uh, well, I think we found where the tiles go and um, there's a bunch of severed heads. Ain't this wonderful? This, this is nice. The name etched in the stone says Tommy. The name etched in the Matt. The name Gary. The name Daniel. The Christy, the Russell, the Onery, the name, Katie, the name, Jason, the name etched in the stone says Bernardo. And now there's an empty spot for us. Wonderful. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.